It's happening so fast. The wave of increasing support for gay marriage in America, especially among the young, is crashing on the Supreme Court. And the justices, average age 67, seem downright perplexed. The problem with the case is that you're really asking, particularly because of the sociological evidence you cite, for us to go into uncharted waters. Why is taking a case now the answer? Justice Samuel Alito noting how gay marriage in America is less than 10 years old. You want us to step in and render a decision based on an assessment of the effects of this institution, which is newer than cell phones or the Internet? Across the country, thousands are taking to social media, changing their profile pictures to express their support for same-sex marriage. This morning, the justices will take up another case, challenging the Defense of Marriage Act, which defines marriage under federal law as a union between one man and one woman. Edie Windsor is 83 years old, and this is her case. Edie had 42 happy years with the love of her life, Thea Spire. We are gathered together today. The two were married, but when Thea died in 2009, Edie got hit with almost $400,000 in federal estate taxes, a penalty she would not have had to pay if she were married to a man. If you could talk to the Supreme Court as they consider this case, what would you tell them? It's a marriage that anybody would want, okay, gay or straight. We had a wonderful life together. 